The Rhino Armoured Personnel Carrier is perhaps the most recognisable vehicle that the Imperium of Man have at their disposal, serving the original legions of Space Marines as early as the Great Crusade. Originally conceived in the Dark Age of Technology as a multi-purpose exploration and defence vehicle for use by colonists, the Rhino was a standard template construction or STC design that was salvaged by the Adeptus Mechanicus following the catastrophic event during the Age of Strife where many other STC blueprints were lost forever. At 6.6 .6 meters in length and 4.5 meters wide, a Rhino is operated by a single Space Marine who also controls the remotely operated Storm Bolter affixed to the top of the chassis. A standard Rhino can also be equipped with a second Storm Bolter affixed to the top hatch, as well as a variety of auxiliary equipment or weapons, including Hunter Killer missiles or smoke launchers. More prominently, however, a standard Rhino is capable of transporting up to 10 fully armored Space Marines rapidly deploying them into a combat zone via hatches found on the sides, rear, and top of the vehicle. Space Marines are a rapid strike force, and as such, are only as effective as the means by which they can enter the fray. Surprisingly brisk for a vehicle of its mass, a Rhino can achieve land speeds of up to 70 km per hour, allowing for squads of Astartes to deploy and reposition swiftly as the battle demands. However, as it is lacking somewhat in the way of firepower, Rhinos are often accompanied by fire support vehicles such as Razorbacks, as dictated by standard Astartes battle doctrine. Incredibly adaptable, Rhinos can be manufactured in almost any location with resources suitable for construction. Though most Rhinos are made of a bonded ceramite over a plasteel hull, it can also be constructed using other composite carbon compounds or hardened steel, depending on the available resources at a given location. It is powered by two Mark II Mars pattern adaptable combustion engines, which require oxygen fed to them by an assisted air intake. However, each engine is also equipped with its own fuel and reserve oxygen tank, meaning, even in environments with no usable air, the air intakes can be sealed, allowing for continued operation of the Rhino. So rugged and versatile is the Rhino chassis that it also serves not only as an armoured personnel carrier, but also as the foundation of an entire range of Adeptus Astartes battle tanks. Many vehicles such as the Predator mainline battle tank to the humble Razorback fire support vehicle share common origins from the ubiquitous Rhino design. During the fabrication of a Rhino, tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus perform a variety of rituals, assessing the vehicle's temperament of its machine spirit. Depending on its temperament, the vehicle may then return to the forges to be outfitted with a variety of weapons, such as whirlwind missile launchers or predator autocannons, so that it may better serve in the battlefield role it is best suited for. As outlined by the Codex Astartes, each company within a Space Marine chapter maintain their own fleet of Rhinos as means for transportation alongside drop pods and Razorbacks, with the battle tank variants being pulled into the chapter armory. However, it is not just Astartes that the faithful Rhino carries into battle, but other divisions of the Imperium as well. Organizations such as the Inquisition or the Adeptus Auroritus also use the Rhino as their primary means of transportation, with variants such as the Immolator carrying the power-armored Sisters of Battle into the fray. The Rhino's reliable and rugged frame can be seen in all corners of the Imperium, serving it dutifully across a war-torn galaxy.